Whether you're creating tutorials, video courses, or social media videos, choosing the right tool can make a huge difference. Camtasia and Canva both offer screen recording and video editing features, but they go about it in very different ways. So let's figure out which one is the best for you. If you're creating educational videos, chances are you're probably very interested in screen recording. Here Camtasia has an edge. It's built from the ground up as a screen recorder, and it allows you to record your full screen, a region, or a window. It even supports webcam recording, which is perfect for facecam tutorials. Canva, on the other hand, has more basic recording features. You can record your screen and camera, but it's limited. It works fine for quick, lightweight recordings like for social media videos or quick explainers, but it quickly becomes limiting for longer tutorials. Talking about ease of use, this is where Canva has an edge. Its interface is clean and beginner-friendly. It allows you to drag and drop clips, add effects, and export your video in minutes. No editing experience required. Camtasia, on the other hand, is more powerful, but also overwhelming. It has a steep learning curve, especially if you're not used to timeline-based editors. However, once you get the hang of it, it unlocks a lot of control and precision. If you're after pro-level effects, Camtasia has you covered. It allows you to add animations, transitions, graphical elements, text, and much more. There's even a brand new feature called Camtasia Rev, which automates some of the editing process. It's great for turning screen recordings into polished videos. Canva, meanwhile, sticks to the basics. It's great for quick edits, it allows you to trim your clips, add text, stock media, but if you want more control and precision, it quickly becomes limiting. Now, if you're feeling stuck between the complexity of Camtasia and the limits of Canva, let me introduce you to my favorite alternative called Borumi. One of the things that makes Borumi unique is its scene-based workflow. You can start by writing your script inside Borumi's script editor. As you write, you can break down your video into scenes, which makes the whole recording process way more manageable. Each scene becomes a bite-sized part of your video, and when it's time to record them, Borumi guides you through them one by one. While recording, you'll see your script on the screen, so you never get lost. Moreover, you can focus on each scene individually, without having to nail the whole video at once. Once recording is done, Broomy stitches together all your scenes into the built-in editor. And this is where you can fine-tune everything. You can apply effects, trim the clips, and so much more. All within Broomy itself, without having to switch to another app or another subscription. And with Borumi, you get out-of-the-box, great-looking videos with transitions, animation, smooth cursors, and so much more, without having to do anything. You can also edit your video using transcript-based editing. This can save so much time when editing longer video compared to traditional timeline-based editing. And the greatest part is that Borumi comes as a one-time purchase, currently at $59, which makes it an exceptionally good value for your money. If you're looking for an affordable Camtasia or Canva alternative, then Borumi might be exactly what you're looking for. Back to the video, let's talk about pricing. Camtasia starts at around $200 per year, and while it comes with a lot of functionality, that price can feel steep, especially for casual creators and educators. Canva is more affordable at around $110 per year or $12 per month, which can be convenient, especially if you're using it also for design work. So which one should you use? Use Camtasia if you're producing long-form content like tutorials and video courses, but you're not afraid of the extra complexity and you want absolutely full control over your videos. Go with Canva if you want to create short, visually engaging clips, like for social medias, and you really value simplicity. If you're creating educational content like tutorials, video courses, and product demos, then consider Borumi, as it allows you to create pro-looking videos without the steep learning curve or expensive subscriptions. And if this video helped you out, please like the video and subscribe to the channel because it really helps and I hope to see you in the next one.